All right, now you might have already seen this all new option in the settings menu on One UI 4.0 called Labs, which for now offers one feature called multi window for all applications, which means when the switch is enabled, we can open any applications on the phone in pop-up view or split screen view, irrespective of whether the app supports the multi window mode or not. For example, Instagram. So this app doesn't support split screen view or pop-up view, but when you turn on multi-window support for all apps on One UI 4.0 under lab section, we will be able to open apps like Instagram in multi-window. Now, the same feature can be enabled on One UI 3.1 as well, which I'm gonna show you in this video. A big shout out to my friend Benjamin for finding this feature. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, this is Galaxy A52, which is running on One UI 3.1. If you want to force all applications to support multi-window feature on One UI 3.1, first you need to make sure that you have enabled the developer option on your phone. To do this, just open settings, about phone, software information, continuously tap on build number until it says developer mode is enabled. Once enabled, it will show up at the extreme bottom of the settings menu. Now all you need to do is tap on developer options Keep scrolling all the way down to see an option called Force Activities to be Resizable. Once you do that, you will be able to open any application in split screen view or pop-up view on your One UI 3.1 or 3.0. Let me demonstrate this for you now. Here I have YouTube Studio app which does not support multi-window feature by default. As you can see, when I tap on the icon here, it shows just two options. App Info and Lock this application. Now let's go back to developer option and enable force activities to be resizable. Now let's go to YouTube studio app and open it in recent view and tap on this icon again. Now you can see here we have got open split screen view and pop up view and this works perfectly fine. This is how we can enable this feature on One UI 3.1 or 3.0. Now it's just that Samsung has put this already existing feature under Labs option on One UI 4.0. However, this is just the beginning of Labs feature. I'm sure Samsung will start offering more feature under this section. So I'm actually curious to see what Samsung is going to offer under Labs in coming days. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. If you love watching contents like this, make sure you smash that subscribe button and leave a like for this video if you find it useful. That is going to encourage me a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.